Oh yeah, this is actually probably gonna be plot related. Instead of just, you made a confidant. This one should have more meat. You became acquainted with Matarame's pupil by chance? That's a little too convenient. It makes me wonder if you're even telling the truth. So be it. What I want to know most is your method. It's true that Matarame was an unforgivable criminal worthy of the scorn thrown at him. He was an adult who cultivated his own fame and fortune by sacrificing the livelihood of children. But how did you discover such horrible deeds that were hidden all these years in such a short time? In the metaverse. This metaverse business again? <sighs> Fine. Let's suppose that people's hearts can be changed by stealing their treasure, like you've said. If so, a different suspicion arises. People have gone mad or lost consciousness never to recover, like the subway accident in April. Depending on how you look at it, that could be taken as a phenomenon for a sudden change of heart too. Were you related to those as well? I don't want to say. Hmm, I see. <laughs> Fine. Continue telling me about Matarame's case. Keep it concise and only of the truth. Last day of exams. Yep. I can only hope we did well. I'm pretty sure we did really good. It's over. How about you? I'm feeling confident. You traitor! <laughs> it feels like I shot his puppy. Anyways, can we stop talking about the exams? Like it or not, they're gonna come back graded next week. Rather than focus on stuff that's over with. What are you looking at? The usual site. It's no use. There ain't any useful info. The number of posts are getting less and less, too. I am not letting this end as a one-hit wonder, okay? There's no point in getting antsy, though. I know! Why don't we go eat lunch somewhere? We still have some money left over from the other day. I want sushi, then! Or domestic-raised eel. You don't have that much left. <laughs> it's like, Jesus. Also, it's my money. Fuck off. Oh, right. There are those tickets to Matarame's exhibit. Wait, that's tomorrow. Don't tell me. Was it love at first sight with that Yusuke guy? It's not like that. Oh, of course not. When I was watching that special on TV, his artwork was pretty nice. Plus, we've got free tickets. Besides, this could also be related to what we heard in Mementos. Matarame, was it? Hmm. I'm curious, too. Hmm. That aside, what should I do about the other two tickets? Wanna go appreciate some fine arts for once? <laughs> fine arts, huh? I suggest we should all go together. Appreciating the fine arts builds character. A phantom thief who can't identify an original is lame. Well, if everyone's going... It's settled, then. Looking forward to it. Just the phrase, going to an art exhibit, sounds kind of mature. Let's meet at the exhibit entrance tomorrow. Okay. Ah, so bed early. Hmm. Hmm, that sounds about right. Not nice catch. I mean, he was under a teacher that screwed him over, and 
Yusuke, I think his name was. His teacher is Madarame. It all matches up. I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> I sneezed. Sorry, I, I, I'm I all ah, no chew. Lame Raffle Mal. Also, did they say fucking... Did they call us fucking tryhards? Fuck off. It's so crowded. It'll be a pain in the ass if someone sees you, so don't stick your head out too much, all right? You came. <laughs> yes. Um, we yeah. also arrived. You really came. <laughs> <laughs> I like you. I'm very excited about you. You what really you came. When you really came. Tickets. Make sure that you don't get in the way of the other visitors. Come now. I'll show you around. I'd like to speak more about the picture I'd like to draw, too. Well, see you guys later. <laughs> well, fuck. Will Hun be all right? What if he drags her behind some painting and tries something funny? I told you not to come out. Are we really gonna appreciate the fine arts? Can't we just go home? Let's learn about Matarame. I guess we should do a quick pass through at once. Uh, which way are we supposed to start? Hmm? It's that old man from the other day. We continue to be truly surprised by your imagination. You have such expansive styles. It's hard to believe that it all stems from one person. Are you trying to say that Madarame is using all of his students' work? Where in the world does all your inspiration come from? Well... It is rather difficult to put into words. They naturally well up from within my heart, like bubbles rising one after another in the spring. Naturally, you say. What's important is to distance oneself from worldly desires, such as money and fame. My atelier is a modest shack, but it is more than enough to pursue true beauty. A shack? I see. So the act of emptying one's mind gives rise to inner beauty. Still, to think we could hear the word shack coming from the great artist Madarame. You would understand if you saw it. <laughs> Wasn't the word shack something? Madarame-san is actually here? Over there! I'm so glad I came on opening day. Stop pushing! There's way too many people! You're right. It's black now. Look at that. Crushed. Anyways, we gotta head for the exit. Don't die on us, alright? I didn't know there were so many types of Japanese art. Usually, one concentrates on their own style. However, Sensei creates all this by himself. He's special. There you are, Yusuke. Sensei. Ah, the girl from yesterday. Are you enjoying the exhibit? I don't know how to put it into words, but it's really amazing. You're sensing something from the artwork. That alone is enough to give us artists satisfaction. I hope this becomes a wonderful piece, Yusuke. Well then, if you'll excuse me, You'd imagine artists would be difficult to approach. He seems really friendly. Indeed. Oh, this is it! The painting I wanted to see in person! This one? I guess it's the painter's anger? I'm not sure, but I sense this... strong frustration from it. To think such a cheerful and gentlemanly person could make such a piece. <clears throat> Something wrong? 
don't mind me. There are better pieces than this one. Come now, this way. Alright, so I'm guessing he made it. Hey. Maybe he's in on it, he's like, fine, he just uses all of our stuff. Ah, that old lady totally elbowed me. But thanks to that, I remember now. Uh, about what? Well, let me get to it. It's about a post online. Here, look at this. Why'd you leave without me? You got it all wrong. We got dragged into this huge crowd and... Eh, anyways, you gotta look at this too. This post might be about Madarame. What's it say? A master of the Japanese arts is plagiarizing his pupil's work. Only his public face is shown on TV. Plagiarizing? I didn't think much of it when I first saw it, but hearing Shaq and Madarame triggered it. His treatment of the pupils who live with him is awful. He teaches nothing and bosses them around. He treats them inhumanely, as if disciplining a dog. Abuse on top of plagiarism, hmm? Huh? If this is real, it'll be a huge scandal. I wonder if Kitagawa-kun posted this. I mean, he is a pupil of his. Who knows? It's anonymous and all. In that case, it's possible the Madarame we heard about in Mementos is referring to the same one. A man like that doing such a thing? I wonder if we can ask that shadow from earlier about this. Oh, actually, we just need to talk to him in reality. And how are we gonna go about that? Are we gonna explain it all, starting with mementos? Besides, if we make a move out in the open, there's the possibility that Madarame will find out. Oh, yeah, right. What do you think about Madarame? Doesn't he seem suspicious? Hmm. He does. I know, right? This all fits way too well to just be a coincidence. His delivery when he was being interviewed for the first line was if this not post is legit, perfect. Ain't this the kind of target we've been waiting for? Well, yeah, but. Is it really true? I mean, you guys cared about it. I was busy getting coffees. By the way, what did you do about the whole modeling thing? Kitagawa-kun gave me his contact info. He said he lives there, right? Perfect timing. Let's try going tomorrow. We're off to Madarame's house right after school. Huh? You want me to model tomorrow? This huh. is too sudden. Why? We're just gonna go talk to Kitagawa. Oh, that's what you meant. He was like, oh god, I'm scared. Okay. You gonna make me immediately go to sleep again? You know, the one thing I never really, I was never really cool with in Persona is all those times where it's like, there are things you could do out at nighttime because in the end you, you don't have any negative effects of going out and doing something the night before and then doing something the next day. So it kind of makes absolutely zero sense that they kind of just railroad you. Oh, yes. You could use that time that they take away on, you know, getting, getting through some of the confidants you have and other things with your schedule so it's kind of it's kind of awkward having to be railroaded sometimes here's a question uh do you know who created the piece which sold for the highest price but not Madarame. i think picasso was in the 1700s 
But that might have been Van Gogh. I'm a pick. I'm a pick Van Gogh. Oh, not bad. Finally, finally, I'm just on a streak. I'll fucking take it, man. Nice going. All right. gonna call you master. It's a stuffed animal. Hey. Just threw them in my mouth. <laughs> Get fucked, you puss. Residential area past Central Street. Suguru Kamashita, former Olympian, teacher at Shujin Academy. Reason for turning himself in is uh, a heavy conscience, huh? The human mind doesn't change that easily, let alone their natural temperament. <sighs> Shujin Academy. Seems doubtful. Perhaps I'll have someone look into it. Just in case. Is that it? We're at the right address. The door plate does say Matarame. Uh, you ring the bell. Me? The walls won't collapse when I do, will they? No one sneeze or we'll blow this house down, okay? Who is it? Sensei is currently... Um, it's Takamaki. I'll be right out. People really do live here. takamaki -san. You two are here as well? <laughs> Hey. Intense disappointment. I'm sorry, but uh, we ain't here to talk about the modeling thing. There's something we gotta ask you. Is it true Matarame's plagiarizing stuff? He's abusing people too, yeah? Are you serious? We read about it online. This? <laughs> Preposterous! Not only is the plagiarism impossible, but abuse? 
If he hated children so much to harm them, he would never allow pupils into his home. And I'm the one residing here and studying under him. I'm saying it's not true, so it's beyond doubt. You might be lying about it. That... that is utter rubbish. I had no family when Sensei took me in and raised me into what you see now. If you continue to ridicule the man I owe my life to, you will rue this day! You really think that? Yusuke? What's the matter? I heard you yelling. These people are slandering you with baseless rumors. Forgive them, Yusuke. They must have heard some bad rumors and came in worry for their friend's safety. <sighs> Understood, Sensei. Well, even I doubt that a cranky old man like myself could be liked by everyone. That's not what we meant. I'm sorry to have butt in on your conversation. However, I do have neighbors around. Won't you please keep it down? Now, if you'll excuse me. <clears throat> that was discourteous of me. I'm sorry. I know. I think you'll be able to believe in Sensei if you saw that painting. It's his maiden work, as well as his most representative piece. It's titled Sayuri. Sayuri? This was the painting that inspired me to become an artist. It's so beautiful. I don't know all this fine art stuff, but even I can tell that this is impressive. When I first saw you, I felt the same powerful emotion as when I saw this painting. Me? I wish to pursue beauty like this. And I believe drawing you will be part of that pursuit. I implore you, seriously consider my offer. I'm sorry that you took the time to come all this way, but I must assist Sensei today. I hope that we can discuss this further another time. If you'll excuse me then. Those two seem like nice guys, don't they? Maybe the Matarame we heard about in Mementos is a different person. Man... When we thought we found a new target, too. How's the Metanav? Oh. Hey, the app. Was it picking up our conversation? This display. It means that Matarame has a palace, too, right? But why? Matarame, plagiarism, and then Shaq, huh? These seem to be the keywords. For real, though, what the hell's going on? Does an old man like him really have a palace? We have the person's name and the location. All that's left is the what that Matarame mistakes the shack for to enter his palace. You mean, like how Kamoshida thought the school was his castle? That's right. Let's try saying some things. They can be random guesses. It's a bit sudden, though. Why don't we start with castle? No candidates found. Then what about prison? No candidates found. Ah, oh, what a pain! Jail, a warehouse, and guidance counseling office. Might as well add farm. <laughs> no candidates found. Not a single hit. Should we come back another time? A building that's related to artists. If we think from there, what would it be? A museum. Beginning navigation. Beginning navigation? Whoa, really? 